I'd share a little bit of what I got today. Um, let's see, I went to Pulp Fiction Comics. Uh, this is in Culver City, California. Uh, they got a pretty good deal. Uh, they give you 30% off of all trades. I think that might include hardcovers, but I'm not sure. Uh, it even includes new trades. Pretty cool. Uh, take a look at some of what I got today. Uh, first up, I have uh, Infinite Crisis, written by Jeff Johns, Phil Jimenez, George Perez, Jerry Ordway, Yvonne Reese, and Andy Lanning. Uh, this was uh, circa 2006. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the year was, uh, but definitely really enjoyed reading this one way back when. Uh, I'm one of the few who is a big fan of this and Identity Crisis. Uh, both of them have received a lot of criticism. Um, in fact, the guy who sold me this at the comic book store, uh, he was not a fan. Uh, he challenged me to come up with the plot of the story, to tell him what it was about. Uh, even though I've read it before, I could not tell him. Uh, I agreed. I, I recognize why a lot of people don't like this. Uh, for some reason, I like it. I couldn't tell you why. Maybe if I reread it, I'll either join in on the people who are not a fan, or maybe I'll be able to come back and speak up for why I like it. Uh, I do know the art is beautiful. Uh, do, they do a really good job with this. Uh, however, the story... Uh, couldn't tell you. I did read the first issue in it already, uh, and there's a beef between Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Uh, Wonder Woman had recently uh, killed, I uh, forget his name, uh, snapped his neck, um, Maxwell Lord. Uh, he was going to control Superman. Superman was about to kill Batman being under mind control for Maxwell Lord, Wonder Woman stepped in. This is also the same time as the OMAC project, uh, where Batman uh, had the OMAC satellite, uh, the Brother Eye satellite, who uh, ended up being uh, taken over by the OMAC virus, probably getting some of the details wrong, uh, but the whole idea is Batman is a control freak, Wonder Woman is willing to do whatever it takes, and uh, the wholesome Superman and uh, the always right Batman disagree that she had to murder someone, even if it meant uh, freeing Superman and saving Batman's life. Uh, and Superman has been uninspiring at this time. Uh, there's even a line, Batman tells Superman that he hasn't been inspiring since he was dead so it's a pretty good first issue uh, I did like that but uh, we'll see where that goes I think the reality smashing stuff that uh, old Superboy does to break free from that pocket reality uh, is kind of silly but hey it's comics comics are meant to be silly uh, well infinite crisis next book I bought, uh, Luthor by Brian Azzarello and Lee Bermejo, has been reprinted uh, into DC's Black Label, uh, which I find pretty appropriate. I've always been interested in reading this one, uh, but I never, never just took the time to read it. Um, normally anything Superman related uh, will find its way to me, uh, but this one slipped by until now, so good thing the uh, new... Uh, reprint came out. Um, I don't know much about the story. Uh, Luthor, um, probably from the perspective of Luthor. Don't know if it paints him as a as a good guy, paints him as a protagonist. Uh, not really quite sure. I was flipping through some of the art. I'll go ahead and flip through some of it for you. And I was noticing that it is pretty dark. I guess that might be fitting for the black label. Take a look at that, that's pretty cool. What redemption do you offer them? So it looks like it's gonna be a slanted towards Luthor. I uh, look forward to reading this one. Uh, 
Uh, next, I picked up. Uh, I actually have been reading that the Black Hammer Justice League crossover has been pretty good. Uh, and I found myself wanting to know a bit more about the Black Hammer characters. I do know that they are meant to represent the Justice League. Uh, they're quite obviously some of the Justice League um, in Black Hammer. Uh, this girl here, the main girl on the cover, uh, I think she's a Billy Batson character uh, that can transform into uh, Captain Marvel. Um, or I should say Shazam type character uh, the there's a Superman there's a Batman I don't know what all the parallels are uh, but I do know that they pretty much match up with the Justice League uh, so Jeff Lemire I've always uh, enjoyed his work uh, I have not read Descender and Ascender uh, that's probably gonna be next on my list but uh, this one brought to you by Jeff Lemire Dean Ormston Dave Stewart. And as you can see, Best New Series won the Eisner Award in 2017. Looking forward to reading this one. Uh, here we go. Uh, entering into horror. Uh, so I always do this thing when I go into shops. I always ask uh, for a recommendation and I don't like to give a lot of details about what I like to read. I am a big DC fan. I've been reading superhero stuff since the early 90s, uh, but I definitely have picked up a lot of indie material. I really don't like the word indie when it comes to uh, comic books uh, because a lot of people just say image. Uh, read plenty of image, plenty of the big companies, Dark Horse. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure what company this is. Here we go, this is a Dark Horse title. Um, I like to ask for a recommendation and I, if I'm in the mood to buy a book and to read something new, I almost always will not say no to whatever they, they recommend. Uh, so she tried to get me to narrow it down. I did tell her I don't like the super incredibly artsy uh, fantasy style. Uh, although, I won't exclude that, I'll always give something a try. Uh, and she took me right to the horror section. Uh, she recommended this one, Harrow County, Countless Haints. Can't tell you much about it. Uh, written by Colin Bunn, art by Tyler Crook, or maybe I got that backwards. Uh, rare thing, both wonderfully charming and genuinely disturbing. Mike Mignola. So, I am a horror fan in general. I do like... The spooky season. Uh, I am a Halloween fan. I am a horror movie fan. Um, but I've never heard of this until today. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't even flipped through it. So take a look. See some of that art. Nice and colorful. Not what I was expecting. All right. I get the. Uh, Essex County vibe. For all I know, it's the same artist. Well, alright, don't want to give myself away too much, but it looks like we got some burning flaming skeletons. Can't go wrong with that. Arrow County, countless hates. Well, this is a new type of video for me. Uh, I I haven't made many videos in years and years since the early days of YouTube, uh, but I thought maybe I'd share what I'm about to read. I'm a big reader of uh, a lot of comic books, as you can see, I've got a variety there. Uh, I'm also trying to get myself up on reading regular books, um, and I'll share what I get into, uh, share my feelings on certain books. Uh, and maybe somebody will actually watch these videos. Peace.